Baby Saloon business is one of the lucrative businesses that someone can venture into in Nigeria. It is rare for a barber to be out of job, considering that the average Nigerian male barbs or trims his hair at least twice a month. One advantage the Baby Saloon business enjoys is the low capital required to start it up. It is also a business that runs every single day of the week. Patronage is higher in the evening than in the morning, and one gets more customers during the weekends. It goes without saying that the hair clipper is Ibaba's most important work too. The Choba Clipper brand is the favorite for most Nigerian babas because of its efficiency and durability. Other tools include a sterilizer, a cleaning brush, a towel, barbing chair, cape, mirror, and many others. Apart from barbing, the barbers also render hair dyeing services to their customers who wish to either make their hair color darker or change it to brighter ones. As expected, young males and females within the ages of 18 and 25 request for brighter colors while older people ask for a more darkened hair some of these customers also request that a unique mark or inscription be made on the dyed hair and of course the barber charges some extra cash before carefully using the clipper to create the needed effect dyeing hair to become darker normally costs between 1000 to 5000 naira while changing it to a brighter color or returning it to back to its natural dark color cost between 2,500 to 3,000 naira. The barbing business can be done in either of two ways. The first way entails a professional barber renting the shopping space alone or doing so with a couple of other professional barbers, setting the place up and sharing the expenses and dividends among each other. My name is Sahil Lawal. I base on bag, bag, I tint, any color you want. Make sometimes 3,000, 4,000, maybe. And sometimes I buy like five customers in a day. As you can see, Sahil has come together with his friends who are also babas to operate this place. This is different from the second way of running this business because here, an experienced barber or a total novice who is just interested in making profits employs expert barbers who will work for him and give daily or weekly returns. The problem with this way of running a barber business is the difficulty of finding trustworthy workers who will not cheat you of your profits because of course, you will not always be around to monitor the progress of the business. Most of these Babel Saloon business owners have regular office jobs and keep this as a side hustle. Whichever way one decides to run this business, finding a good location is a very important factor to consider. It is advisable to pick a high traffic area with busy streets and places people visit often like eateries, grocery stores, and markets. This will ensure you enjoy high patronage. It is also important to avoid a place with high competition, like renting your shop next to a bigger and better rumba bean saloon. People will choose theirs over yours. One major reason why I do come here is has to do with the way they get to shape my hair. Most barbers don't know how to, their finishing is very bad. When they shape, you see one side is inside, the other one.